this is an ideal for graduates from engineering background, uh, people from tourism background, people with work experience in sales and marketing. So how many days are the classes? Are they on the weekdays, weekend, how it is? Um, engineering students coming in mm -hmm. and I was um, speaking to one engineer and he mentioned that his pathway um, is amazing uh, by clubbing engineering qualification with a business qualification. Mm -hmm. So where he can go into project management and management side of engineering. Hi, hello everyone. This is Chakit from VAC Global Education. Today we have Mr. Harjinder with us and he represents Whitecliffe College. So I have a few questions which I am asking on your behalf. So watch this video till the end so that you get the complete information about Whitecliffe and the programs and how those programs are beneficial for you. So welcome Mr. Harjinder. Thank you very much Chakit. Thank you for having me. So first question, the firing one. <laughs> Uh, on the website, it's mentioned that the course is for 1.5 years, the Masters of IT. What is the actual duration of that program? So, Chakit, first of all, uh, my apologies um, that it states one and a half year on the website. And I think this needs to be corrected. So, the Masters of IT program is one year. It's 180 credits mm -hmm. and it's one year in duration. Perfect. Not one and a half year. Okay, amazing. Yeah. So, that gives a boost to you guys that if you are planning for a one year IT course in New Zealand, so Whitecliffe can be your best choice because it's a category one provider, means that you will going to get high quality education if you study in this particular college. Uh, next program, what do you have for business? This is MBIL. Correct. How long is that course for? So check it, MBIL is also 180 credits and it's a one year program. Mm -hmm. um, the tuition fee is $36,000 and there is $3,000 scholarship going on at the moment. Amazing. So with scholarship, the tuition fee is $33,000 um, for one year program. Amazing. And uh, what are the uh, learning outcomes and what kind of jobs somebody can get? Because IT is clear, like they can get into data science or software engineering sort of uh, programs. But with MBIL, what kind of jobs the student can get? So I'll just come back one step um, and just add something to Masters yeah. of IT. Yeah. So Masters of IT has two specializations, data science and cyber security. Okay. Um, now MBIL, it's a business program and the, the emphasis of this program is hands-on transferable skills. Mm -hmm. So now in this program, uh, this is an ideal for graduates from engineering background, uh, people from tourism background, people with work experience in sales and marketing and and the the job outcome is that people from various backgrounds can come and finish this qualification and go on into business side of things. Mm -hmm. It could be project management, it could be sales, marketing or if they want to set up their own business or if they want to work in companies um, in various um, departments as I said um, project management or management in general. Okay. So the outcome is quite vast. Of so this program. anybody from any background can come and do this course? 100%. Okay. Uh, I mean, lately I have seen influx of um, engineering students coming in mm -hmm. and I was um, speaking to one engineer and he mentioned that his pathway um, is amazing uh, by clubbing engineering qualification with a business qualification. Mm -hmm. So where he can go into project management and management side of engineering all right yeah. all right also the there's one particular word which is used with white cliff a lot which is called low residency correct so what does this low residency means and please elaborate like how you were explaining me before that student they only need to come only few times a month so okay. if you can explain about yeah. the timing about what how many days are the classes okay and low yeah. residency in sure all yeah. sure so it's there's a lot of confusion around low residency so a lot of people think low residency means chances of residency are lower yeah <laughs> no it's not yeah so low residency is an academic term so in layman's language low residency means or i would rather put it or say as an blended delivery program okay so the program is delivered as in blended delivery model mm -hmm. so there are of course face-to-face -face seminars mm -hmm. um, so classes but we call them seminars okay so 
um, there is one or two seminars mm -hmm. in um, each term mm -hmm. and then there is um, there are classes uh, which are led by supervisor okay. so three students they get access to one supervisor and mm -hmm. their supervisor works as a guide okay. and they will guide them through um, not only the study but also towards the application based research okay so there are like two seminars mm -hmm. and then um, supervisor or tutor led classes which could be online and students are very welcome to come on campus and study and if they have problem they can book a time to meet with supervisor or teacher concern okay so how many days are the classes are they on the weekdays weekend how it is so as i said um, there are two seminars mm -hmm. for each subject every term so mm -hmm. each term is around nine weeks mm -hmm. um, so nine weeks there is um, there are two um, um, seminars so which is roughly around seven to eight hours each day mm -hmm. um, and so the classes are only on weekends so it's they are only on saturday and sundays perfect however mm -hmm. students are very welcome to come to college use the facility there is a library and they can a lot of students do avail this facility they come to college and they sit um in the college and use these services for uh, for few Free days of for f uh, yeah and few days okay. you know so some colleges some students um they do not come as much but mm -hmm. then other students um, they do come for a day or two or three in a week amazing and it's a category one provider so what other benefits the student get when they join a high quality college like white cliff so category one we are also category one but we are also government funded education provider okay so category one donates to highest ranking given by nzqa mm -hmm. so of course um we category one is best education and outcomes mm -hmm. but apart from this um, uh, students get access to domestic students mm -hmm. so this gives them um, a probably uh, or 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 make them aware about news and culture mm -hmm. news and traditions and also again infrastructure is amazing you yourself have seen our campus yeah uh, we have an amazing library an amazing campus and also also a program that comes with an amazing outcomes mm -hmm. all our programs white cliffs philosophy is job ready students mm -hmm. so all our programs they are very specialist either um, in specializations or the way programs are delivered mm -hmm. like masters our masters programs they have an application based research embedded in them mm -hmm. so application research is probably looked more favorably by employers mm. so that's how the master's programs are, are, are delivered and all these programs are available with all the campus like Auckland Wellington and Christchurch or how the bifurcation is there so our master's in IT mm -hmm. um, is offered in Auckland Wellington and Christchurch all three campuses yeah uh, master's in business is offered only in um, Auckland. Auckland campus as of now okay uh, but again as I said it's a it's a blended delivery program and a lot of students they live um, um, outside Hamilton. Auckland uh -huh. and they do travel when there are classes okay so, so. a student can avail this facility that if they are getting low rents outside Auckland then yeah. they can definitely 100%, 100%. live there and just come once a month 100% yeah, perfect, 100% perfect. so I think that this uh, information is going to help you guys make better decision when you are choosing the right institution for your studies abroad and especially in New Zealand when you are getting a category one provider you are getting uh, the chance of uh, only having classes on the weekends and then you're getting a scholarship NZQA category one provider so if you guys are looking forward to study at such prestigious college where you have multiple campuses not just in one city but in different cities also that uh, is really amazing so if you guys are looking forward to study at Whitecliff then there is a link given in the description click that link get in touch with us and we'll be more than happy to connect you with the college get you the offer letter and we'll help you with your visa application as well so thank you for watching this video if you have any other question just write it in the comment section so that we can answer your question thank you sir for thank joining you this thank session. you very much my pleasure thank you